Now, I must commend you, Lieutenant Maynard, for leading us straight to Blackbeard and his associates. Uh, most welcome, Admiral. Admiral. I know, right? I look so handsome. And I'll be made Commodore once Blackbeard's severed head swings from my ship's bowsprit. You know, the last Kingsman who threatened me ended up begging for his own life. Gentlemen, please. You may continue all threats and counter threats as soon as I get what I need. The Emerald Necklace. Where is it? That's Blackbeard you're talking to, and he ain't gonna say. I buried it on Grace Island. Would you like me to draw your map? I can't promise to make it to scale, but um, I could boom a damnedest. You heard the man. Let's have another drink. Right. I appear to be empty. Give me some of that. <laughs> no, this this is not for you. Please, I drank Hemingway and Van Gogh under the table. Cisco gave this to me before I left Central City. It's the only way a species could get drunk is off of this rocket fuel. Rocket fuel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. God, that Cisco's a ruddy genius. Yeah, he is. So is Barry and Caitlin and Wells. Wait, maybe that's why I never fit on Team Flash. <laughs> and here I was, thinking you were roaming the Chinese countryside because your girlfriend needed more space. But I could do one better than that, man. Both of my favorite prodigies conspired to have me put in prison. Huh, what happened? Well, I lied to Sarah in addition to accidentally aiding in the resurrection of the man who killed her sister. And Ava is angry at me for sending good agents to their deaths. Sounds like you're a bit of a douche. No, no offense. No, none taken, though. I intend to make it up to both of them. But first, I need the teensiest, teensiest of favors. Hey, Agent McNeil. Just calling to say congrats on being named Agent of the Month. Uh, the Bureau's lucky to have you. Coming for you, McNeil. Again. <laughs> this is way more fun than meditating. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but there is one item we must procure from the bureau storage closet, and one that is very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> oh. What? We're screwed. The ship's electrical systems are experiencing multiple unexplained malfunctions. It's the devil's triangle. Look, that's just a myth. Whatever it is, we need to time jump out of here. What? And leave Mick and Amaya stranded in pirate times? It's a miracle we're still in the air. Well, I'm sure they're having a whale of a time with Blackbeard. <laughs> so funny about getting a head chopped off. Mm, there are worse ends, like the one I brought on that fool admiral. That necklace is cursed. I saw it's dastardly work with my own eyes. Get your hands off me, you blackguards! I'm so sorry, Mick. If I really was the dread pirate Jue, I never would have let Dark steal my totem. Who are you apologizing for? You're better than a story. And a hell of a lot more fearsome than some pirate queen. With or without your totem. This man, Edward Teach has been convicted of unlawful piracy and plunder. Therefore, it is my duty as an instrument of the Crown to... Watch out! You're in sore need of a sword, pirate. Maybe you can help us settle an argument. What I